Welcome to this answer explanation video for fractions of a quantity. This video will talk through the answers to the fractions of a quantity worksheet and have a look at some of the tricky bits. Use the digit cards to complete the comparison statements. Each digit card can only be used once, but two digit cards can be placed in one empty box. So we need to work out a fraction here, which fraction of an amount here, which is going to be of 18. And then this side, looking at our comparison statement, this side has to be greater than what we choose to put at this side. So for some things of something. We then need to, using the digits we have left, complete the second part. So six, we need to choose the denominator there of something equals. So this time this side is going to be the same as this side. And then we need a fraction of 48. There might be an element of trial and error with this question. We might try a digit and then it might not work. So we might put that digit back. I've written my digits along here so I can cross them out as I've used them. And then I make sure I'm not repeating any of the digits. It's important to remember as well that we can actually use two digits in one box. So we might need to make some two digit numbers. I'm going to have a think then. And I'm going to start with just by trial and error, there's going to be different ways to answer this question and I'm just going to talk you through one of them. I'm going to have a look at thinking about 18 here. I know that I could easily use sixths with 18 because 18 will divide by six. So I'm going to put a six as my denominator there. I'm just going to cross that one out so I don't reuse the six. I'm going to try five sixths. So five sixths of 18, then 18 divided by six is three. Three times five is 15. So I'm just going to write up here that my answer to that bit is 15. So this side needs to be greater than this side. So for some things of something, it needs to make sure, we need to make sure it's smaller than 15. So we could have, I've got two twos, two fours and two eights. I could actually have four quarters because that would give me the full amount. And then looking at what I have left, I could use eight because four quarters of eight, so that's the whole amount, that would be eight. So that statement would be correct because five sixths of 18 is 15, which is greater than four quarters of eight, which is eight. So now you can see which digits I have left. Next thing, we're going to need to use two digits in one box for this bit, I think. I could use eights here to cross out my other eight. And then I could use two digits together to make 32. So 32 divided by eight is four times six is 24. So whatever I put here needs to equal 24. So they need to be the same on both sides. Uh, 48, I know that if I double 24, I'll get 48. So I'm looking for a half and I do have a one left and a two left to make one half and one half of 48 is 24. So that must be correct because both sides are the same. And I think I only have this one left. So we use most of the digits that way around. There might be more than one answer, but that's one possible way to do it. If you're using a method that's more like trial and error and you make a mistake, that's fine. Just try again until you get something that fits. That was a video explaining the answers to the fractions of a quantity worksheets from Classroom Secrets. For more worksheets, go to classroomsecrets.co.uk and for a video tutorial on the same step, go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for watching.